Welcome back to Desktop Dungeons. We're going to continue on with challenge runs. I think we only have four bronze challenges left, which means that we're narrowing in on the characters that I really don't like playing as. Uh, that includes the Blood Mage over here, who is actually awesome. I, just, I still have this thing about Blood to Power, which I... Uh, I don't like. <laughs> and it's a big part of playing with the Blood Mage. So I, I'm not going to mess with that yet. The other guy is the Monk. Everyone tell me how awesome he is. I, I don't get it yet. So we're going to go with the Explorer's Guild guys, who I like uh, significantly better. We've got the Crusader with Momentum. I haven't completely figured this out yet, but I like it. He's also immune to poison, mana, burning curses, so I should probably take him down to the X Swamp at some point. And we've got the Transmuter. Dungeon lore starts with the Lemmy Sea Glyph. He's got uh, using glyphs increases item conversion bonus by three. And whenever he does a conversion threshold, happiness occurs and we destroy everything in one hit. It's not exactly uh, true, but it's pretty close, I think. So, uh, which one of these guys? I'm going to go with the transmuter. I want to learn the transmuter because he seems so awesome. Alright, uh, I think this guy would actually do great as an elf. For amazingly obvious reasons, it doesn't look like we can do any preparing. So... Flavor text. I should read it, so cancel. Why I didn't read it, I have no idea. Uh, but I've been reminded that it's a great part of the game. So, Bronze Challenge. Transmuters have always wanted to shape existence through magic, but their meddling has finally caught up with them, and seeking new avenues of power, the struggling order will need to correct its three greatest mistakes, and I assume that this challenge is the first of those mistakes. Alright, back to Elf, and yes, play. This will net me 150 gold. I actually have enough to unlock the new class now, and I will be doing that soon, but I think he's probably pretty difficult. Okay, so we've got a level 2 dude here, level 1 dude here, a fireball glyph right next to us, some health. This is a great start, just right off. Uh, I will cast Let Me See a few times, just to see what's around. There's some side stuff, some help meh. Blood to Powell is way down there. Wow, there's a great stuff here. Um... Yes, yes, there's the boss. Come take, come to take the heart out of my chest, have you? Do your best, but we shall continue to move and exist just to spite you. The revulsion you feel over our creation has not gone unnoticed. Regards, Rock Slide. How's Rock Slide? Oh, he's cowardly, but uh, he's weak with huge amounts of health. Um, I think that's enough out of Let Me See for now. Let's grab this fireball. And some of this other stuff, some mana stuff. I think I can go ahead and kill this guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty easily. I'll be cursed, but I don't mind so much. I don't think I have any reason to avoid curses at the moment. So, hit. He left. Is everyone cowardly here? Everyone here is cowardly. I should read things before I do them. Why is everyone cowardly? All right, pick this up. Grab this. Just be a little upset over what just occurred. And pick this up. Grab the wait what? Which will be incredibly helpful in killing cowardly enemies, I think. Go over here. There's another level 2 right there. There we go. There you are, my friend. My cowardly, cowardly friend. I'm going to switch places with you using wait what? Perfect. And I'm going to get my mana back to 10 at least. Which is enough to kill you, I think. So hit, hit. Yep, you can run away all you want. Fireball for the kill. Perfect, I'm all kinds of cursed. Uh, can I kill anything in one hit? Can I kill anything at all? I have Let Me See, which should allow me to heal. I should probably go this way for obvious reasons, and uh, yeah, I will. Wow, I killed that dude in one hit. Alright, two fireballs now and a sidestep. I think it would be an excellent thing to cast. So let's just pick this up. And cast it. Perfect. Okay. We've got sidestep. I can go over up here to help man as well. Um, seems like something I will convert at some point for a free spirit sword. Alright. 12 mana is an excellent amount of mana to have. Just saying. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Alright. Who do I want to kill here? Probably that level 3 dude, but possibly this level 5 as well, since I can take a hit from him and I can fireball him twice. How much are the fireballs doing? Not enough. Um, he's poisonous, unfortunately, which makes this harder by a number of levels. Uh, so let's just do this, 
and switch places with him. I might be able to take on this level 4 dude. Um, let's get full mana back first. Okay. And pick that up. Alright, this level 5. I can actually hit him twice. Uh, if I was willing to use a potion, I could do this. And it's a 3 level higher kill, so it's actually very significant. Uh, it would level me up by itself and put me well on the way to the next level as well. Oh, I cannot hit him, this guy twice. What am I thinking? Uh, I can hit this guy twice. And fireball him to death, so he's cowardly. Oh, cowardly, cowardly, cowardly nin. Um, Where do I want to take cowardly people? I want to take them here, I suppose. So transfer with this guy. Yes. Jeez, I don't like this cowardly thing. Uh, I think the spirit sword probably works extremely. Extremely well with Let Me See, by the way. Not Let Me See, Sidestep. Um, halt May is not something I need to use. If I were to fireball this guy twice, and then Spirit Sword him, could I win? It's like 30... Yeah, I think I can win this guy against this guy. Let's try this. Fireball. Fireball. Leaves him at 31. Right? Yeah, so if I use Haltme like this, I can do 31 damage to you and win. Oh my goodness, that just happened. Um, I'm impressed with that. Are you impressed with that? I don't know. I, I'm not you. But let's look at these enemies here. We've got a uh, an interesting goat man and a crazy woman. Um. Neither of which will be easily killable, I don't think. So, if we cast Sidestep first, they are. Um, but I think we should actually wait what? And let's wait what the goat, because the goat looks like an easier target. 43 health, vice uh, 43 health, first strike. So, magic resist, no magic resist. Death gaze, no death Yeah, we've got problems. We've got solutions as well. Uh, let's just move them both over here, actually. So, move the goat here. I need just some exploration. Did I? Ah, oh, crap. So, I have my superpower now. Uh, it does almost kill one of them. Um, that was an unfortunate mistake. But, it's okay, because I can kill a level 5 anyway. Uh, let's kill this one. And it puts me very close to leveling up. I have to watch my conversions very closely with this character. It's something I need to learn to do. Okay. Well, uh, I have no real choice but to level up at this point, I think. Let's see who can level me up with the least amount of pain. You cause a little bit of pain. And you cause a little bit of pain. But not much pain, so I'll just use you to level up. Perfect, I'm level 4. Level 4 me probably wants to take on like a level 6 or a level 7 enemy. I don't really know. Kind of thinking I should cast Sidestep before I move on. Because that will let me kill much higher level things. Maybe even a level 8 enemy. Who knows. Uh, I kill this zombie, just get him out of my way. I should be using Wait What a lot more than I am. Uh, for obvious reasons. But uh, I'm not, apparently, because I'm an idiot. Big, big doofus. Alright, oh wow. Extra attack power. Okay, hmm, what do we want to do here? The boss is coming up. Lots of enemies around. Uh, I can do massive amounts of damage. Um, but I don't see a real enemy worth my time. This is the closest thing, and he's not really worth my time because he takes up a lot of resources, I think. Uh, one hit and then uh, two hits and two fireballs. How much do the fireballs do to him? Uh, I would need more than two. That's that's the the basics of the answer to that. This guy, however, uh, once again two hits, and I would need four fireballs on him. Um, I think I should go ahead and kill this guy. He seems killable to me, which is important. So yet yeah, we're gonna use up our sidestep, which might have been a terrible decision, but might have been a great one. We're gonna fireball this guy twice and head down this way. And we can fireball him again for, uh, hopefully, a level up. Nope. Oh, this is actually a rather poor situation. But we fireballed him anyway. 
And we'll kill this guy, just to get him out of our way. And head this way. This is unfortunate. This is unfortunate. I guess we can kill this one. Once again, to get him out of our way. And down here, perfect. Can I hit... This guy up here died! Why did he die? I don't know. Burning. Burning killed him. Alright, yes. Thought about it for a second, realized the truth. I uh, should go after this one. Now uh, he's the highest level thing here, and I can level up kill him rather easily. Probably without taking up any extra extra exploration as well. So maybe I should just do that now. Not heal up, just go ahead and fight him. Um no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna cast sidestep. First, oh, you have to be at full health. No, 50% health now for sidestep, isn't it? Yes, you have to be 50% health to use sidestep. So I'm going to go down here to get over 50% health. Cast sidestep, which is an excellent, excellent thing. And heal up all my ways. I can, might be able to kill a level 7 just straight off. Um, is it worth it to do so? Certainly not a level 7 blob, but this guy I should probably just be able to kill. Even if he has magic resistance. Because um, I can hit him twice. So one hit, two hit, and then my fireballs. Uh, th that was not as effective as I wanted it to be. Uh, okay, He's also blocking my exit, which is not perfect at all. Alright, um, he does 37 damage. I have one health. I can kill him in one hit, but uh, I can't kill him in one fireball, can I? No. Uh, that doesn't take me to 37. Hmm. This seems unfortunate. Let me uh, let me see a bit. And I still can't hit him. I still can't fireball him. But I can get him out of my way. There we go. That's perfect. Um. I should kill this guy. Out of principle at this point. But it's death for me to hit him, so I can just level up, kill him. I suppose I don't really have a choice. So kill you, and you, Mr. Popcorn Man, and I'm level five. Now I can murder this dude pretty easily. Yes. Hit. And fireball. Let's not retire. Fireball. And a very worthwhile kill, actually. What's not good is the amount of exploration we have left. I'll be honest with that. Um, yeah, I need to level up again if I'm even going to go somewhere, I think. Or I could just use Let Me See, I suppose. Let's go right here. Just get a little exploration. And start using Let Me See. Uh, I'm going to use Let Me See rather a lot, I can think. I need to get uh, 7 of 15. Why does it say 7 of 15? Wait, what costs 8? I don't have 8. Alright, let's go up here. Cast Wait What on this dude. Just to switch him out of my way, I'll murder this dude. And head down. Get some of the exploration while I can. This guy is probably a great next target. Ugh. <sighs> All right, let me see is going to be incredibly valuable here. So let's start using it. Uh, just to, you know, get health, actually, is not what it is. It's a uh, mana. I mix up my words sometimes. No real excuse. Kill this dude. Get him out of my way. Kill this dude to get him out of my way. And grab up mana there. Blood to power. Excellent. Uh, it'll be great for conversion. I can kill a level 8 if I can hit it. And I can hit it. I could probably kill a level 9 if it was around. Um, yes. You are level 9, but regular attacks don't work so much on you. So, what I will do is fireball this woman one time. Which gets rid of all of my magic. But I can hit you, lady. And... That kind of sucked, didn't it? Because you have 17 health, and I don't have the ability to burn you again. So I'm going to use this, sadly, and murder you like this. Fireball for the win. Perfect. Level 6 me is not a happy me. Um, I'll just kill this dude to get him out of my way. There are not many great targets at the moment. But there is a health potion there. There's this level 10 guy up here that I'm going to have to kill eventually. One more level up and I'll actually be able to start taking him on, I think. You, on the other hand, are incredibly annoying. 
Uh, three fireballs would be nice, but I've only got two. Uh, and some let me see action, of course. How many fireballs does it take to kill this guy? Way too many. Oh, okay, pick this up. Conversion is a long way away, actually. And I've used up all of my exploration. This is a bronze challenge. It should not actually be difficult. I have, let me see here. Uh, maybe maybe the, the developers didn't get that memo. Um, let's see. What am I going to do here? I'm going to kill this guy. Just going to get him out of my way. Now I'm going to kill this guy. Not to get him out of my way, but because he deserves death. And I hate him. Uh, just like that. Perfect. Now I'm going to go here. Uh, I have no more exploration, really. I can kill this one and get, explore that little tile. Level 9. Alright. So let me see is my healing factor here. So... Let's let me see. Heal up. And look at this situation we have put ourselves in here. He does 67 damage and he takes a whole lot of death. Uh, let's kill that. Move here. Grab this heart. 72. I can start hitting him right now. Uh, level up kill on this guy. It's probably going to be my only path. Alright, so. Here's the issue. I need to keep him in this, in this corner area, obviously. Uh, I probably want to use conversions as much as possible during this fight. Um, Alright, we'll hit him once. He ran away. He's cowardly, so he's apt to do that, I suppose. And I will fireball him, and he will run away again, and I will fireball him again. But no matter how much you run, sir, I have got you. So, now I need to level up. Um, Meat man, die. Snake dude, die. And meat man die. Perfect. I have no idea if this is gonna be possible. I'll be honest right now. Let's uh let's fireball him. So fireball fireball. That seems effective. And we will convert something here. Um not let me see. Hell no. Uh, not to, to be bad to the audience if if you're too young to hear those words, but Hell no. Alright, blood to power, go away. And live to hit this guy one more time. Quite effective, quite effective. Um, let's, how much health does it take? 67? It's going to take some potions. Alright, a couple of potions and we're going to convert sidestep? That doesn't seem like a good idea at all. So we're going to convert, wait, what? Yes, we are. Alright. So we can do tons of damage with this hit. Perfect. He's got 125 life left. I don't know if this is going well or not, I'll be honest. A couple more. Um, all right. While we're at high amounts of health, probably for the best if we use our mana potions as well. And use our sidestep or convert our sidestep. That's a good question. I think we should use it, then convert it. Uh, please convert my sidestep. Oh, sidestep my sidestep. Yes, thank you. For another hit. He's down to 45. This is painful. Alright, uh, I've actually got one more hit that I can do though. So let's convert Burnder as... For the final blow. And that works. I probably shouldn't have won that. Uh, I feel like I made tons of mistakes along the way. I certainly didn't do that uh, absolutely perfectly. I'm going to kill this guy just for the fun of it. And grab, go here and grab that little bit of health because it was fun. Um, did I deserve to win that? Maybe. Maybe not. It is just a bronze challenge and I had way too much trouble with it. But I did win. So let's retire. And who is this? The Transmuter God Challenge. I was a miser because there were no options. I was faithless because there was no options. I was purist because there were no options. And I was cheeky because I was awesome. And I won that at level 7. Which might not be the best. It might be great. I don't really know. Um, I don't know. Tell me your your first time transmuter story, and tell me if that was way too wrong of me. Like I did that completely wrong. Achievements that generations of transmuters have worked on coming to ruin. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Achievements that generations of transmuters have worked on are coming to ruin. But the abominations will pursue you relentlessly if you do not let go of the past. Fair enough. Reward of 150 gold. I really should just unlock this guy. I'm so tempted. Ah, but not right now. All right, guys. Thanks.